DaVinci Resolve is very much a grading tool and a lot of the features within DaVinci are focused on grading. One of the things that I really like is the ability to look at uh, various split screen modes. In a similar way to Adobe Lightroom, you can do various A-B comparisons of your color grades and various other things actually. And I'm gonna go through each of those things now and hopefully give you an idea of how they work and how you can use them. So firstly, to enable the split screen feature, you need to click on this button here and that puts a gray white frame around your clip. And you'll also notice that you get a drop down here which gives you your different types of split screen, so there are seven in total. First of all, let's take a look at versions. Versions are a little bit like virtual copies. If I go back to the Lightroom comparison, they're a little bit like virtual copies. So at the moment, if I look at this clip, we've got no virtual copies on here. So I can right click and I can go to local versions and do create a new version, but it's much easier to do Alt, Shift and A. If I press that now, it says here a color grading version has been added. And you can see immediately that because we have two versions on this clip, not only do we get the two versions sat side by side in the version split screen view, we also get this tiny little sort of multiple stacked grading color thing here, which sort of denotes the fact that there are more than one version. If you compare that to this one here, where, there are, where there's only one version, it's just a slightly different icon. So we can see there are that multiple versions on this clip. So for example, if you've got someone coming to look at your clips and you, they, they don't know how things how they want things to look, you can sort of demonstrate a couple at once. So if I, if I just do con, um, Alt Shift A again and again, and we can put, you know, we can basically stack up four versions of this particular grade. And I can switch between them by doing Alt Shift and P to go backwards version two, version three, or I can do Alt Shift and N for next. So N for next and P for previous. And that sort of just switches between the versions. Or you can just double click on the screen here to switch between them as well. So if we go to this version, maybe I can switch this now in our grade in the film convert side of things. I could switch this to a totally different film stock and have that as one version, leave that one as the original here and then have our third version. Let's just do go crazy here and have this as a black and white um, stock. Just to really, just to highlight the differences and make this one a really, really cool one. So now we can clearly see and we can sit them side by side so that someone can look at them or you can just compare them and decide which one you wanna go with. I mean, in my case, I prefer this one because this is the one I, I did in the first place. But when it's not you deciding, it's nice to be able to stack them side by side like this so you can see them all together. And you can right click on here and you have them now all listed out in order. And that would usually start from one, version one, but, um, but I've kind of done a bit of playing around previously with these clips. So we've got them in a slightly funny order here. And you can go to local versions. You can just delete all versions straight away. We can carry on adding more and more up to a maximum of 16. And I don't think you'd ever want any more than 16 versions. So when you've got those versions, if we look at versions that are, and original, what we see that we get is basically we've got all our four versions that we've created, but we've also got our log clip here. So this is the actual original footage when we've taken off any grade. And we can, you know, we can play these clips. It's no problem. We can sort of, there's not much going on in this particular clip, obviously, but we can, you know, they all, they all play and they all move together despite them all having a different grade. So it's pretty good stuff. I mean, it's quite powerful stuff. I think if you were dealing with larger clips and maybe more going on, the resolve might start to have a bit of a problem. Okay, let's move on and look at groups. So if we switch to groups, well, look, I haven't got any groups at the moment for these clips, but if I wanted to select a certain number of clips and add them to a group, I can do that. So, I mean, I probably wouldn't want to do it on this particular footage, but let's say I wanted to have a group of this clip, this clip, and this clip. So I just select them all and I can do a right click and I can add them into a new group. And I'm just going to call that group test. No surprises. And we can see that they are highlighted as being in a group because they get this little kind of chain mark 
next to them. And so now, even if the clips are not sort of related in any way, we can mark them side by side and put, you know, put, put them side by side so we can compare them because they might be related. To, you know, you might have a number of night clips or something and you might want to put those in this particular, particular group, but they're not necessarily after each other in this sort of timeline. So you can create a group of all those clips and then see them all next to each other, check that the grade's consistent throughout and get a good look. And equally, you can right click on here and you can delete, you know, delete clips from a particular group or, you know, put, delete the entire group here if we just delete this group. And, and of course, we go back to our original clips. Okay, next one down, selected clips. As the name suggests there, we can just select whichever clips we want and we can have a look at those. Nice and easy. Neighbor clips is just a really, really simple way of the one that's highlighted. It sticks, I think it puts, yeah, it puts that in the bottom left-hand corner and then it puts these, these two are this one and this one. So the uh, previous two go in the top left and the top right. And then the next one goes in the bottom right. It's just, these are just really varieties and different ways of organizing your split screen. Though you can kind of achieve the same thing in a couple of different ways. Okay, gallery grades. Now this is, this is a nice one, I like this. Um, a gallery grade is simply like, I'll, I'll give you an example actually. So if I click on this shot here, well, I can, I might want to, trial this using my stills here. So stills, of course, are not just still images in Resolve, they carry all the grading information as well. So they are essentially uh, presets, if you like, for what you might have previously, you know, a previous bit of work you've done where you know the grade is really good and it's a really good starting point for, a, or, you know, really good look for a particular camera or for a particular lighting environment or something, whatever it might be. And you can when you've got a clip highlighted like this, you can just click on one of these and it will immediately change the grading of that clip to suit, to, to, to tie in with whatever grading settings the stills got on. So if I switch between these, you see that they, these clips are actually, although the end result look the same, they are actually graded quite differently because that's much, much brighter. And then this clip is much, much darker. So, and you can just switch between all your stills here and take a look at them. So if we want to do more than one, we can say, right, okay, so out of these two preset clips and the one that I've done myself, which one do I like the best? And you can make your choice that way. So that's a really powerful feature. And in fact, stills, I cover stills in a separate video, which I'll, I'll just put a link to uh, here. And that's a, the stills feature. I love the stills feature in DaVinci Resolve. It's a really powerful feature. And this kind of complements it nicely. Finally, highlight modes. So just using this clip as an example again, I'm just gonna unselect my stills for now. And um, go to highlight modes. What, oh, actually I'll go to this one because what I've done on this is I've actually put a key on it. And what I've done is I've just, just increased the saturation on this blue because I love the blue on this top. So I've just basically bumped up Oh, DaVinci Resolve has stopped working. <laughs> Amazing. I've never had that happen before. Okay, let me let me just pause. I'll be back in a second. Okay, well, that's totally messed things up. That's kind of messed up all the alignment and things. But I'm going to carry on anyway because I've done uh, nine minutes now. So, right, yeah, so this clip here, I put a key on it to bump up the saturation on this jumper. So if I enable that, you see it just gives it a really nice, rich look because it's a lovely blue and uh, it looks great. And what you can do with the... <laughs> this is all disabled now. What you can do with this version is it shows you in two two ways... It gives you that basically that mat in two different ways and um, then shows you what the end result is actually doing and then shows you the end result. And that's the purpose of that split screen mode is just to be able to highlight the highlight, if you like, more easily to you so you can see exactly what's going on. If you might have a couple of different things that you've adjusted for with the key and you can just jump across those clips and see them easily compared to the original. 
it's just a bit easier than just being in this version here and having to sort of switch between this and you know do it that way there we go i mean that's a quick look at the split screen feature within resolve sorry about the mess up I'm three quarters of the way through there I uh, hope this is useful for you. It's just another sort of feature of Resolve, one that you might not use all the time, but it is a great feature anyway, great one to know about. So thanks for watching, and if you enjoy the channel, then please do subscribe and or give me a thumbs up or something like that, and I will catch you soon for more Resolve videos and other types of tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.